we're on our way out of here, but my good homie, Knowledge, Scoops DJ, Rihanna's DJ, whatever, wants to do like an interview, so he's like, I'll just take you guys to the airport, as long as you're down with the top down. So uh, we're trying to figure out how we can fit all our luggage in his car, along with our bodies. Now, let's just say what up to SCE World. Tetris, man, we gotta do it in Vegas, so we got luggage and three bodies to somehow fit in this convertible. We're gonna just, we're gonna just hold on. Just hold just on tight, hold on tight. Get us there. Jeff's like, I'll put some rock in my, I'll put some rocks in my pocket. I'm good. I'm gonna put some rocks in my pocket. I'm done. Stay there. Yeah, you're gonna be able to get your seat. This is what you call like life on the road as a DJ. You just ad adapt. We're going. This is, this is how we roll, man. That's it. How much shit can you fit in one of these cars? A lot of, a lot of stuff right here. A lot of, a lot of stuff. We got this. We'll figure it out. I, I think this will be all right. Okay. Okay. It, it will, uh... Okay. <laughs> this actually, this is it's official. This is the most I've ever tried to do in one shot. We're doing this. This this makes for great YouTube. Exactly. <laughs> waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, sorry, wait for me, sorry. Yeah. What time is your flight? Just for my reference. It's, it's like ten o'clock. Okay, so you're good. Yeah, we have like plenty of time. Yeah. Okay, so you're good. You're not like me, where me and Scoop, where you're like. Sometimes we're like that. Me and the, the plane's taking off at eight. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was Scoop yesterday. You like. And then I'm gonna do this flight. Scoop goes, you know what? I'll just fly to London. Fuck it. I'm gonna stay here with you guys. I'm yeah, like, you know, we stayed up, no joke, till he left last night. We both crashed out. We we're so tired. I came here at like 2 in the morning and we literally, we literally worked until he left this morning. Alright, we do this. I'm gonna have you do this one. <laughs> Yo, so I can't believe right now I'm sitting. I can't believe right now I'm sitting in a car in Las Vegas, it's convertible. We're on our way to the airport, we're gonna take a detour with um, an amazing touring DJ. You're gonna see his links on the bottom. He's toured with Scoop and Rihanna and all of them. And of course, Jan is in the front seat. Uh, but I gotta somehow not fall out of the car while recording them and make it to the airport on time. So, here we go. Let's start off the. Uh, you start it. We'll follow yeah, but, you. But I, I, are you able to hold my camera? Because I got to yeah. drive. Well, I, I can kind of do it, but <laughs> yeah, I, I, I can't it. do a very good job. Hold so. on, let me get this got, one on. Yeah. Right. Jeff's got his on. We got all these cameras. We got. I know, this man. This is a multi camera I'm, shoot. I'm blown away right now. Oh, 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 don't, don't, don't. oh shit. Don't, don't. Are we recording right now? Unless you want to just use this one. Oh, wait, but then it's okay, not live. Yeah. yeah, all right, ready, set. Yeah. We're going to go yeah. live here. Go live. Say what up. You introduce some shit and we'll. Real talk. We're at the fucking Tropicana. Where is everybody right now? This is Tropicana. something you want to tune in on. We're Jeff the Tropicana. is not fitting. Um, we've got a lot of luggage here. This is my Maybe fucking new on. dude right here. We, it's, it's crazy how things kind of shape up the way they do. All thanks but, to Fat Man Scoop, for real. He brings, <laughs> for real, man, he brings good people together. That's what he does. Sco scoops the man. So, my man Knowledge over here is a touring DJ. We share a lot of mutual friends and uh, we met each other yesterday and apparently we have a lot of similarities in a lot of different places and a lot of different things. So he says, yo, you do the interview stuff for DMS. I do the interview stuff for my own shit. Why don't we spend some time in my car? I'll drive you to the airport as long as everything can fit. And we're in a hurry. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we've I, got three cameras going and, and right come now. Up. So we've got three cameras going on right here. And, uh, <laughs> and we got this. Yo, hey, what's and, up, man? Oh, so, so, yeah, we're in, the, we're in the car in Las Vegas. We're going to tour the town on the way to the airport. And there's, there's a, there's a multi-camera shoot. We've got Facebook Live, this camera, Jeff over here with this camera. And we're so, anyway, I hope you guys are tuning in right now because I met this guy last night. Goes by DJ Jason Johnny. Now this guy, Jani, Jani, Jani. Sorry, <laughs> we just met. Yeah. We're we're both really excited because you yeah. know, as a lot of people know, marketing. I always focus on marketing. I teach seminars. I'm always imploring DJs to work on that stuff because, quite honestly, I'm I'm the best at it. Well, until yesterday, I met this guy. This guy blows what? me out the door. Like for real, this guy's mind blowing. I was like, dude. I gotta talk to you before I go, before you go, because we gotta talk shop. Like, I gotta know how he got to where he is and what he's doing. Like, this is serious. We got bro back Jeff, here, Jeff, with the wait, camera. Wait, just look at this. There's luggage on top of luggage in this car, and the trunk is open. I'm a human. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and, and Jeff got 
through like two feet because now he's you know back there but you know on his knees or something crazy but anyway I want to pass the mic over to you man like I want to know more about you and, and how you got to where you're at because I think a lot of DJs would love to know so my story is this like very very simple I I come from the nightlife world I grew up in the Northeast whatever um, uh, a, a little while ago I took some risks I went to school for engineering worked in corporate America for a little while I kind of left that path to focus on creating an entertainment company that focuses more on like um, the artistry of entertainment and like really like event excellence. We do like cool things for cool people, do events all over the planet, like legit. And um, yeah, like here we are nine years later, we're in Las Vegas. Um, I just spent the past couple days as the DJ's DJ at Mobile Beat Las Vegas, which is like a international DJ show for like private event DJs from all over the place. And uh, in that, you know, we, spent we some met. Time yeah, with we, Scoop we, and, and we linked and, up and through we, Fat Man Scoop. Yeah. And um, you know, I, you said something really interesting there. You came from corporate world, because so did I. I. I actually, you know, as a lot of people know, you know, I went to school for finance and for economics. Right, that, that shit sucks. Like, I did it for a long time. I made a lot of money, and it was like super successful and all that stuff. But like, it wasn't the answer. So a lot, a lot of times, people chase the money, not the, not the dream. I didn't like where I was going. I wasn't happy. So I said, like, you know what, let me try to do what I can do if I take a risk and I roll the dice. And even if I do it just for a year, but that year of the journey would be well worth the time totally. and the sacrifice. So I might go broke, but I'm going to make it happen so that we can, like, at least try to do something and try to, like, get to those stars that you reach for so hard, you know? Hey, if and you reach for the stars and you get to the moon, you're still doing pretty good, right? Life is good. And you know what? Here we are, you know, nine years later, my company, we have uh, some people that I have... An, ama uh, an amazing amount of respect for. We're, we, we roll really deep in terms of staff and talent and everything. We do about 1,800 events annually all over the planet. And we I, I gotta say, stuff. like for real, I was mind blown by these guys. Like, he comes deep with a crew and they're all amazing dudes. And like, they're super on point. Like, Jeff is legit filming this. S as he sits on luggage, yeah, okay, all right, we got it. Yeah, we're, we're, we're literally good. in the middle of the strip right now, and I was like, you know what? You know, when we were talking yesterday, I was like, you know what, Jason? There's nothing quite like hitting the strip topless, and, and uh, you know, I was on the, I was I was doing the the Facebook Live with Fat Man Scoop earlier today, and, and uh, a friend of mine last week, and it's the best way to leave, right? You just, you get to catch it all, soak it all in, right? It was so crazy. So, like, after, like, legit sleeping less than 10 hours since last Friday, and being here and it's been like endless you know to, to link up with you and say like let's do this right now let's make it happen and you literally dropped it to come over and grab us so that we can do this it's, it's dope man so it's let's, cool let's shop it out so tell me yeah. some, tell, tell me tell me your story so you so you it's a finance world i get it yeah how long have you been in this game now i've been in the game for like 18 years as a okay. dj like i started in college as a dj yeah worked in the smallest club i come from small town canada and uh, I've been in Vegas for 10 years, you know? When I moved here, literally early midlife crisis, I was like, man, I gotta do this. I gotta see, exact, very similar to your story, you know? I wasn't happy in corporate world. I said, I gotta fulfill, I, I, I wanna combine what I'm doing with my dream, but bring it on a business end, you know? So, to be honest, I'm really grateful. Like, I don't, mi I don't miss those days in business, but, I am very grateful from the stuff I learned because I apply them to DJ world, right? You, it's, you know, it's crazy. It's like I can relate to that quite a bit because whether it's the way you speak to someone, whether you're doing a tour, you're doing a club, you're doing a private event, you're doing a conference, you know, like you carry a lot of things with you. I think you're like a sum of the... You're some of the thing. You're some of the um, experiences that you are exposed to in life. As as hundred percent, right? like hundred percent, couldn't so agree more. Keep it real and like you know, just hard work does some really cool things. And you know what? And and on top of that, it's the talent and just being around so many people that helps you grow, right? Like for me, being in Vegas, being exposed to you guys, like we saw so much interesting stuff. I'm I'm such a huge fan of mobile DJs. You know, I, I tell DJs this all the time. You know, they. They see superstar DJ at, at a mega club or at a major festival, and they think I gotta be like that. What they don't realize is nobody starts there, you know. Um, you know, Tiesto didn't start there, um, and everybody has to make their way up. And to be honest, the best guys that get those skills and where you learn that is mobile DJs. You know, I I, I want to say this like that term. I honestly feel like I 
I probably, and yes, I fall into that category, but I feel like I've spent the last 15 plus years of my life trying to like jump kick that stuff in the face because like I feel like there's a stereotype because there's so many people totally. that have no talent, have no skill. There's a huge gap. You're They're right. terrible and they do that and like you get grouped into this association that is not right, but like the way, especially the world is today, the way the industry is today, the way the, 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 the taste of people are today, like someone that can play like wide open and like literally take you through whatever you need to do to get you to another level, that's like a gift, man. Not I a lot agree. Of people understand that, you know? I, I totally agree. And it, you know, I see a lot of my friends from like our generation of DJs, you know, just the club circuit has just become so competitive and you know, they have families or for whatever reason, right? They, they've transitioned into, into the, like you said, the mobile DJ. Maybe you're right. There should be a different term. We should come up with something because you're right. It's not just a typical DJ. Like most of my friends, they can bring it, man. Like whether it's a wedding or it doesn't matter what it is. It's like it is. It's, it's it's a moment to celebrate time, right? Celebrate a milestone. Celebrate a party. Celebrate a uh, a, um, a life moment, right? And like whether you're out in Las Vegas on a Saturday night or you're planning the most expensive event of your life, being your wedding or you're doing a right or you're doing the or Super whatever. Bowl. I mean, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah. We should we should <laughs> let people in on some of the events. It's like you do some serious stuff. So I've been very lucky like over time, right? Like I work a lot. I, I own a business. We're pretty successful in our little world. And um, you're from New Jersey, I'm right? From New Jersey, Northeast. And if you guys want to link up, you know, like the the, the tags and whatnot are uh, on, on Facebook Live or Facebook. It's uh, I am Jason Janai on Instagram and all the rest of it's Jason Janai. And uh, yeah, man, I, I mean, like I'm very lucky because I've worked really hard to kind of like you know, earn respect. And I earn see it, but you know what? Like on the stuff, real, you know? man. Like you have both worlds because the talent is there and the business is there. So, like, you know, I saw that and just how proactive you were with the video. Like, that's a lot of times. Like, you know, I talk to DJs from our generation all the time, and they're they're not down and they don't realize. Like, I, I tell people all the time, I invest the majority of my money in video and camera gear. I've yep. got over five grand in gear. I've, I've got a drone. I've got a 360 camera. Yep. And quite honestly, I enjoy it. Like, I'm having fun right yeah. now. We're doing this, right? Yeah, chopping up stove, man. I mean, yeah. like, you know, like for me personally, like I do private events. I do social events I do nightlife events you know like I, I played the Super Bowl I was I went out with the Philadelphia Eagles on their team playing like I do a lot of dope things that like a lot of people don't even and could never even dream of and I'm not and I don't say that as like a boasting thing I'm very grateful and think, very humbled by the opportunities you know what I mean at the same time like I do a lot of remix work I, I you know I work with DMS I work with a lot of different people because you know like I feel like you 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 know you work you do the work, good things happen to you, I, right? I think, like, I think it's about that additional value. Yeah. Everybody needs to provide. Because if you're just another good DJ, there's there's just another guy that can provide that much more value. So, like, you know, when I go to DJ, I blink in a city with my marketing. Yeah. Right? A promo video. You know, I, I got an awesome edit job of, a, you know, a bunch of the footage I've done from, you know, touring over the past couple of years. And you know what? That makes all the difference in the world. If somebody doesn't know you in a new market, there's just so much involved in, in the dynamics of what crowds expect now. You know, change. That's a cool shot. I was gonna say, like, let me yeah, get this way. There you go. Uh oh. There you go, and then you got like David oh, yeah. Guetta on the big sign. Yeah. Let's right? get that. You know what? Like, respect to David Guetta. Like, I gotta tell you one thing. Like, last time I was, I was here. Like, I'm trying to come here like once a month or so, but it doesn't always work out that way. So whatever. When the opportunity comes, we're always we're always in town. We try to do a bunch of different things. But I was we went over and, and David Guetta happened to be playing. And I gotta say, like, regardless of the what he was playing or whatever, the one thing I can respect that man and he'll always have my respect, not just his age and his longevity in the his business. Age presence. His presence. I yeah. love it. It's it's Bro, all about that. He, was huge. he literally was like singing to people and he was like, right, Jeff, were you, yep. you know his stage presence, regardless produced, not produced. Bro, whatever. it's all about stage Bro, presence, man. He, he was guy, smiling that to that people guy's like smiling the whole time. Right, the whole time singing he pointing to people like, yo, you know the words to my song? I'm gonna sing it with you real quick. Oh, you wanna take a selfie? Let me look at you for a second. Ah, you know, like I mean he wasn't like you know, he wasn't like that guy that you might think he is. He, he was actually like, dollfish, yeah, he's a warm dude. And, and you dude. know what, man? I think a lot of the EDM guys are like that. It's all, about, you know, who really changed my mind about that was Steve Aoki. I remember Steve Aoki came in that bridge when, you know, it was all about the DJ skills and the scratching and, you know, who could who could put on the dopest DJ routine. But the reality is a lot of crowds, like there is a crowd that digs the turntablism, but most people 
just want to party and, and like that showmanship. And, and I saw that transition and like, I remember seeing Steve Aoki, who didn't have those traditional, you know, turntable skills. And I'd be like, you know, and he was getting a lot of hate from DJs and stuff. And now, man, I got nothing but love for him, dude, for real. Like, he kills it. Every time he jumps on a stage, he knows exactly how to get a crowd going. It's, it's pretty awesome. And I started taking notes of that. Like, I emulate that, like David Guetta and like stuff like you say, like, for me, like, you know, with my bottle popper tour, we actually jump into the crowd, we, we spray the crowd with bottles well, on it. Scoop's a maniac like he that. He is, like, He'll do whatever he needs to do what to a, make sure What a great that example, that, man. What he did last bro. night, yo, at, at, the, at the mobile DJ in, in all contexts, and, and I'm not just saying this so you could, like, check out my shit. Like, I don't really give a shit. But, like, if you get, like, three minutes of time, go on my Instagram. We'll put it in the comments at some point. It's at J-A-S-O-N-J-A-N-I. And look at the little recap video that we ripped from last night. Bro, Scoop literally pulled people up on stage. He wore a cowboy hat. He took his shirt off. He jumped into the crowd. He yelled at people. He engaged people. He took it from zero to a hundred, like in fucking incredible five seconds. You know what I love? The best part to me was when he took that eighty-year-old lady. Do you see that? Yeah. Oh yeah. And he brought her. He literally came out to the crowd. There was a little eighty-year-old lady. He brought. He took her by the hand. He said, "No, you need to come with me." Yo, that was actually so we did two shows with Scoop over the past oh, two right, days, right? right? The so the so the second show we did was a very like more intimate affair. So like the first show had probably like I don't know what like fifteen hundred thousand, yeah, like, yeah, fifteen yeah. hundred, two hundred, two thousand people in the room, and it was at the Tropicana. It was for the conference, whatever. So the second show was more intimate, but bro, he got everyone in the room. He was he didn't give a shit who you were. Pulled you right out onto the stage, like right onto the floor. He got he got a grandma in the room on the floor. And he just, he was like super kind. And you know what I love is how he brought everybody together. Yo, and just took it, he took it to another level, like real quick, it was dope, it was so dope. I mean, I mean, on a philosophical level for me, music, man, that's what it's all about. Yeah. Like for real, it's about bringing people together like that, which I thought was incredible, you know? So let, let's talk about, let, let me ask you a question about you. So you have Bottle Popper, like, and I know you've done a lot of tours. What's like the coolest show you've probably played with yourself? Like, like you I mean, played, just minor, you're, you're, well, I gotta say, man, I, I, touring with Ariana. Been, I've been part of. You know, I, I would say, man, the Ariana Grande tour was. It. Did you do honeymoon? Is what you do with her? No, I did the Dangerous Woman tour, so I okay. opened in Europe. So she had a bunch of dates in Europe, and yep. I was the opening act. So yep. it was literally countries where I couldn't speak the language, but I always do my research. So like the way I became, you know, I took it to the next level for every place. Our first stop for me was France, and I'm lucky I'm Canadian, so I actually grew up. I went to school in France, so I know French. And, um, you know, I'd get on the mic and I'd mix English with French and the crowd lost it, man. Like, Dope. you know, when I start out, you know, Leve la main, like, you know, get your hands up and, yeah. and stuff in French. They fucking loved it. And then our next stops was in Portugal. I had a good friend. I'd actually played in Portugal the month before. Yeah. And uh, so I became real good friends with the DJ. I'm like, okay, bro. What should I say in Portuguese? And he'd say it. It would sound totally different. We we're literally sitting at this little bar outside the stadium, and I'm like, and he's like writing them out. I'm like, okay, say that word again. And I was, I was writing it phonetically in English. Yo, right? And I didn't even literally know what I was saying, but I would say it to the crowd, and they'd go nuts. You know what I mean? Like, so they loved it because I'd mix the English with the Portuguese, right? And he, of course, he gave me some big Portuguese bangers, and I, you know, I'd have no idea what these songs were. So I'd play these, and people would lose their mind. And so it's it really understanding, you know, it's just to me, DJing is all about that. It's all about understanding, you know, not only your crowd giving them a bit of you, but giving them a bit of themselves, right? You yeah. want to share that. Well, you know what, like we as a whole, being a DJ, you use like music to control emotion, right? So like when you do your job properly, you literally can take people out of whatever hustle and bustle is going on in their day for whatever amount of time they're in front of you and you can get them to release. And if you do it properly, you can put people into another level and then when you're done, you like quietly package them up and ship them back out to wherever they need to go. Totally. But it's it's like, it's crazy, man. It's dope. So, so what's the biggest show out there for her? Like, was she doing like... 20k stadium. Yeah, 50K I would stadiums. say Port Portugal. I think was probably our biggest Would show. You play Lisbon. Yeah, we played Lisbon. Yeah. I think the arena. I'm gonna say close to 20k. That's where my wife is from. So like, oh. we, have, we have like family actually that way. FYI, Lisbon is F so you've been there. Yeah, I actually haven't been you've there. You gotta go. And and my wife and I have been together for like literally 13. So, but in my Portuguese yeah. people listening, if, when you want to book a show with an American DJ, badass DJ, I'll link you. I got. I work with the promoters out there. Get out of here. We gotta yeah, make man. it happen. My wife. Yeah, Lisbon. No it. joke. 
Uh, me and my, my cousin came on the tour with me. I, I gotta say, Portugal's one of my favorite countries in the world. I love Portuguese people. So we have family there. My mother-in-law lives there. My mother-in-law speaks no English and... <laughs> no joke. It's, 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 a, it's a... That's weird. It's a crazy we're, story. We're, yeah. It's a crazy story, man. I like it. I like the story. Port Portugal, the first time I played there, I got a crazy story about that. How I almost didn't make it into the country, but that... That'll be another story to tell people. Let me ask you a question. How'd you get your name? Knowledge? Yeah. Um, well, that, you know what? It was actually before I DJ'd. I, you know, I was the only kid in college out of all my friends. So, you know, I was a little smarter than everybody else that I hung out with, which doesn't say much about the people <laughs> I hung out with. But, uh, you know, they, yeah, they used to just call me Knowledge. I was a promoter. Um, you know, I used to just put on hip hop shows back in the day because nobody else did it in my town. I, I grew up in a town that was like 99.9% .9 white people, so, uh -huh. you know, and rap was just kind of really getting big. And at the time, there was like Canadian hip hop was kind of big. And so I'd bring these DJs from like, you know, the big city that was near us, Vancouver. And then I started doing hip hop acts. And then I started doing raves. I started getting all of it. And I literally had a club owner be like, man, you know what, man, you should just start DJing. And at the time, the record labels would actually send me records. Yeah. To, right. to give out to all the DJs because I was the main guy in town. So yeah. I literally had, a, I had stacks of records. And I'd never DJ. But I, and every, all, every DJ would come over and be like, man, you got more records than I do. So that's kind of how it started. And I just literally started spinning. And then the owner I work for, I, to this day, I credit him with teaching me 80% of what I learned in this business in that first year with him. He, uh, he really showed me the importance of you know, the DJ being coordinating with the mute, not only, not only the promotion, but the music has to be right for your crowd and everything has to work together. And uh, to this day, I, I literally, it's rare to see managers that know it as well as he did. So, so let me say, like, if you were to give a piece of advice, and this is crazy, because like, we're here, so like, we chop it up, you interview me, and at the same time, I'm hitting you up. Yeah, yeah, we're having a conversation, you, right? yeah, yeah. So it's a back and forth thing, but like, like, what's a piece of advice that you've been given in your in, in your time doing this that you would give to someone coming up? Because that's, like, something that I hear of all the time, right? Like, people are like, yo, I don't know how, like, I appreciate your story. I like, I never knew who you were. I started following your stuff. Like, right. we're like, cool, whatever. But, like, what's the... What's the, the message that you want to live, like you would leave with someone to kind of like help them and pay it forward? What would that be? I would say, you know what, I got I to gotta do one from Scoop yesterday, which I think is some of the, the best two word advice I've ever been given. Keep going. Right? Right. Yep. I 100% believe that. Now, advice for me, from my experience and of everything I've learned, work hard and work smart. Always, always, always combine the two. You got to work your ass off. But you gotta be smart. You gotta zig sometimes when everybody's zagging. You've got to look for windows of opportunity that nobody else sees. Mm -hmm. You've gotta find a way to combine your skills in a synergistic way. So it's not just about being the best DJ, it's about being the best DJ with the great business person, with great branding. You need to combine all that stuff. That's the secret today. Yeah, it's funny, like over the years, like how the industry has changed. It doesn't matter where you sit in this world, the industry's changed, culture has changed, people have changed, right? Exactly. So like, to be successful now, you not only have to be dope on the tables, whatever, you gotta be like, you gotta be, you gotta be fresh. You gotta have your stuff together. You gotta constantly be moving. You gotta be into social and into branding and into marketing and into fucking capture and into this and that. You know, it's crazy, you know. It, it is, man. I mean, I, I hear DJs from our generation all the time going, "Man, you know, I, I just all I do is I, I, it's all about being the best DJ." And my answer is, you know, remember when 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 bands were king. You know, back in the mid '90s or whatever, and, and DJs started taking over, and then the bands would always hate on the DJs. They'd always be like, "Man, those guys, all they're doing is playing records. That's easy. We put in so." And and you look at it, let, like let's be honest. When you go relatively speaking between bands to DJs, there's a huge amount more of work that goes into being a band. Yeah, it's just different. It's like it, different. it was different, it's exactly. Different. But yeah. now the work yeah. transitioned, yeah. and now it transitioned again. So instead of having these crazy, you know, turntable skills, it's turned into exactly with the market and the dynamics of video and, and photography. We've literally got three cameras running right now, right? So image is important. Shout out to Jeff Scott Gould right here. Yeah, for from real, man. the event group hanging in the back here on top of this stuff. I'm not going to lie, Jeez. man. I was, I'm mind blown by the efficiency of your crew, man. When I saw that, you guys should really go to his page. Like, yep, for real. I'm going to give a link. Like, 
it I it is very hard to impress me on a marketing level but just the speed at which you guys did it and the quality of it was just incredible yeah well I thank you man we, we put a lot of time and energy into like the visual presence is a big part like how do you yeah. tell your story everyone can say they're whatever it doesn't matter like most of the time people say that they do things that they don't really they're not capable of doing but like the proof is in the pudding the content if you have the content you don't even need to tell your story like the, the pictures the videos they tell your story for you and that's 100%. something that like we've been very sensitive to over time and like as a company whether we're doing a private event a conference a club it doesn't matter like we've got a very talent we've got a, a very content rich and talent rich organization that like values kind of like the story and of course the the process to kind of like um to tell the story in different ways you know for sure i think um so now i gotta turn it on you man like you know we're almost done we're getting to mandalay shout out vegas strong yo for real for real keep it strong vegas other topic we'll get into in another Yo, conversation. we were here that day. Like, were, were you guys we here were, for real? We were here for a conference. Oh, oh did we lose it? I don't know. Hold on. Is that? I think we lost it. She. Oh, no, it says resume. Oh, resume. Okay, good. What? 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 We back. Wah, wah. <laughs> as as we would say. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> yeah, we're we're gonna do a turnaround here. We'll see the Vegas sign, and then I'm gonna take you guys. You're playing if you haven't already missed it. But if you did, it's cool. You guys crashed my place. It's about as it's about as roomy as this car. <laughs> okay. Yo, it's a, we were here that day. It was a very sad day. We were actually here doing a conference where um, I was hired by Wedding Wire, which is like a tremendously large. It's like a multi-billion-dollar company um, that I do all the events for. So, like, out of the 8,500 DJ companies that advertise on that platform they come to me to do their events. So it's like a big like thing I'm proud of, right? So I always do, I always play Vegas. We played Hakkasan a number of times. They brought the party to Jewel this year. And uh, unfortunately that evening of their, uh, sorry, the uh, the day before the party, or, or what was it, two days before the party, um, all, all the, the, the tragedy happened here. So we turned our, the party, into more of a benefit and we were able to raise that's a, awesome a, a lot of money and we, we did over uh 1750 people through the door and that's that club, amazing which is crazy and a lot that's, of people supported and, came and, out and you know and what man you guys did exactly the right thing you know like you know one of the things that these tragedies do is you know the goal of these people is to instill fear right and when i did the ariana tour as everybody knows you know literally the manchester incident happened the night the, literally hours before I was on the phone with her production team and uh, of course it happened and it was a disaster and I thought the way Ariana Hunt handled it was incredible like I love how she turned it around what was one of the most moving things was actually you know after I was done my set I'd go into the crowd and I'd see these young girls and they'd have these big signs you know we're not afraid and I thought that's just incredible and, and that's really what people have to learn is is to, to, to stay strong the Vegas strong you know and not give in to the fear that these things cause, right? Yeah, I mean, culture today, the world today is a very scary place. There's a lot of like, there's just been a lot of negative. So like, totally. one thing I'm like, I try to like always convey with people, whether it's in my private life, my business life, my performance life, is like always treat people good, man. Always do, do your best. Even if you get heated, don't let it out. Don't, I'm not saying like eat it and, and, and be whatever. Yeah, they're just like, channel it. Just correctly. Do the right 100%. thing, man. Treat Take a deep nice. breath, right? Yeah, like, it's all, like, you know, you know, you see it online, right? There's so much division right now. And, you know, one of the things I've learned in life is, you know, I, I've always been fascinated. You know, why can someone be super intelligent and yet make really bad decisions? And it really comes down to the way the human brain is constructed it's you know that's another topic but a lot of people don't realize that the brain is very complex the way it processes information and there's different orders of the brain well, by the way fyi the vegas sign is back there if you guys want to film it is that right yeah let's get it up you know what? yeah we're gonna, we're gonna do a turn around too so if you guys want to okay. get it on the video as you're driving um, this is like for real happening like yeah real time yeah like it all candid disclosure this interview car ride uber <laughs> thing is, is is like something that literally has come together in the past like legit hour at this point I think yeah, right? yeah. it's crazy it's awesome yeah and it's cool like to when you but you know what when you connect with good people and again I'll, I'll credit people in an incredible way so 
Um, and like you're saying about being good about people, and, and that's so important to find other people that do that, right? He's um, a good man. He's a good man. For sure. He's a good man. For sure. So shout out to Scoop. Scoop, what up? Mm. So I got to turn it on you, man. Before we turn off the cameras in a little bit here. Yep. Advice, man. What what would you tell people? How how do they get to where you're at? I mean, you've clearly become an incredibly big success in the past nine years. Yeah, and, you know, and it's only getting bigger, right? Yeah, I mean, like I don't know. You gotta, I, I, you know, it's funny. Like I, recently, I've been doing a lot of interviews for DMX. You know I'm thinking maybe the is the mic working? Or are people able to hear? Because your hand, the way your hand is. On Yo, it? can you guys hear me on this on this Facebook thing or what? I think they, I think they can. I think you guys got me or what? Yo, uh, Michael says you should put these on YouTube. We'll get that on there for you. And I'm actually recording this as well right here. It's going to go on the SCE YouTube channel, which you can kind of catch some behind-the-scenes stuff. But, like, we'll, we'll make sure we get you light up. So, all right, so you guys can hear. So that's good. So, like, my piece of advice to anyone, right? So, like, recently I've spent a lot of time chopping it up with people, you know, in the game, right? Joe Maz, Chris Cox today, Cupid, Scoop. These are people that recently I've spent a little bit of time with, kind of like listening yep. to their story and trying to see whatever you know and like the one thing i can say is like there's a common theme of like hard work right and like i can tell you from first-hand experience there's no shortcut and that's a, i think the problem with the world today everyone's looking for the quick easy fix they're looking for yes. the magic pill they're looking for whatever they don't see what's behind the scenes of these huge successes right you want to you want to get to something anyone watching this anyone listening to this Anyone anywhere can drive a Bentley, a Ferrari, can live in a tr tremendous house, can drive a, a plane, whatever whatever the fuck you want, you can get. You just have to be willing to do the work to get you there. That's the difference, right? The thing that defines kind of people, right? Like if an opportunity calls, if, if someone reached out to you today and said, yo, I got this party that could literally change your life. You're gonna go on tour with this one. You're gonna go do that. You're gonna go whatever. Have you done the work exactly. so you're prepared to make it happen? So, exactly. So don't give up. Always fucking chase the dream. Always do your best to kind of like push it forward. Don't always ask for something if you're not willing to give something, right? Like, just that's great advice right there. You gotta the, give. You gotta have something to offer that separates you from the pack, right? Like, I mean, think about it, right? So, like, it's not always about the destination, the end all goal. It's about kind of like the path to get you there, right? So, like, like the Eagles, right? That party came about because. I did an event 10 years ago and I was impressionable on someone and the event was like a it was like a small little thing it wasn't even like a big deal but like I took it serious I did my best I tried to do it and I made an impression on someone and then over time I've held their attention because I've consistently been able to deliver you know exactly. different it's things con right consistency so like, man that's that's another huge one that ability to deliver consistently you do the right thing. You're willing to do the work. You put your, you, you give everything all you got. That's that's it's a long-winded piece of advice, but it's a real piece of advice, and it I'm is, like to keep it real. So do the work. That's it. Before we turn this thing off, I think we should do 60 seconds. You're down for Let's 60 seconds. Let's do it. Seconds? I'm down for 60 seconds. So Let's I need um. So Jeff, I know we don't have any more hands here, right? <laughs> so like, no. we, we, I'm like literally holding two cameras here, like, like you guys are looking at each other. Yeah. We're here in Las, Las Vegas. Okay. We're here in Las Vegas at the Trop. That's where we partied yesterday in the past couple of days. So, you know what? It's going to be impossible to do a 60 second, but let's do let's do six questions. I'm going to ask you six quick questions. Okay. You're going to ask me six quick questions. First thing that comes to mind, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong. Okay. You just answer it, and then we move on. All right. All right. You ready to go? I'm you go I'm, who's asking who you, first? You tell me. Uh, okay. You fire away. Go to track of all time. You're in a club. Be, be faithful. Be <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's easy. Oh, oh, that you oh, hit me back. Oh, no, yeah, back, well, it's back. Okay. All right, so all right. Song so, you will never play. Electric slide. Amen to that one. Amen. Never. All right. Fuck that song. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Is your, am I asking again? Yeah. Oh uh, wait. So wait, you asked me, right? Yeah. Oh wait. Little, oh, so you know what? It is a little confusing this way. All right. <laughs> yeah. So, In Sync or Backstreet Boys? In Sync. Favorite In Sync song? Um. 
Bye bye bye. I can't believe you know an instinct song off the I top do of know like that. I do know an instinct song. Yeah, you got it. Okay. All right, you're up. And that's all because of JT. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, favorite city to play? Las Vegas. Outside of New Jersey, that is. There you go. Um, all right, so how about biggest event you've ever been part of? Ariana Grande. And how many people? Uh, collectively on the tour that I did, over 100,000. How many at one time in, in one space? I think it was Lisbon, and I think there's about 20K there. Okay, okay, very nice. You yep. up? What's that? I'm now up. you're up. Yep. All right. Um, turntables or CDJs? Um, in a studio, turntables, uh, on a stage, CDJs, just because I hate needle. Yeah, agreed on Ops. that. Software of choice, Serato or Rekordbox? Serato. Are you on Scratch Live or Serato DJ? Serato DJ. Which, are you on the Serato DJ Pro? Or I one just of the got ones? it. Okay. I just got it. Okay. Yep. Okay. It'll be my first time using it this weekend. Okay. Uh, you up. Which country do you want to play in? I want to play in Dubai. Fair. Um, let me see. Least favorite airport? Uh, Calgary. Seriously, Calgary, Thanks. that new airport of yours sucks. <laughs> Just keeping it real. Uh, and you're and you're a Canadian. That's it. Yes. Okay, nice, nice. I think you're up. It was oh right. Duh. Um if you could tour with anyone. Oosh. Oosh. You better say Jay-Z. Oosh. Jay-Z you would be say it. I would say Jay thank you, Jeff. Help me out. Like, right. I got I got I, I need a backseat I, driver, but I, I almost, you better say Jay-Z. I almost phoned, I know I'm filming, so I better be Jay-Z. I almost phoned a friend, so Jay-Z. <laughs> uh, that, that's it, Jay-Z. And then I would maybe follow that up with Pitbull just because I, I think he's just got good vibes. Not yeah. It is. It's, I, you know what? I got vibe. a lot of respect for Pitbull for yeah. real. Like the guy actually, in my opinion, redefined he made he was part of that huge transition from like sort of hip hop top 40 into house. Hey, honestly, before I would go to Pitbull though, and he did do that, I would say if I was gonna open up for an act and I could like reach for the stars, I would say like, I'd either like to do Jay-Z and like JT on like a Le Legends of Summer tour, I'd really? do like a Bruno Mars, right? Like, could you imagine that show? You have like multicultural age group fan base, like chaos. My, cool. my mentor was actually the production manager for that tour, Jay-Z, JT. Shut up, get out of here. Seriously, yeah, with Live Crazy. Nation. Crazy. Ron, if you're listening, that's still the best story I've ever heard. I'll, I'll tell you it after we get off camera. It was one of the best stories you'll ever hear in your life. Shout out, Ron. Appreciate you, whoever you are. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, I actually was part of the Jay-Z Beyonce on the run tour. Actually, what was it, three years ago? Yeah, I was doing all the pre-parties. That's crazy. That's yeah, it was, awesome. it was pretty epic, man. That was my first big sort of jump with, with Live Nation. Crazy, crazy. What's your favorite kind of pizza? Uh, vegetarian. Are you a vegetarian? I am a vegetarian. Are you vegan or a vegetarian? Close to vegan. Okay. I'm getting there. We share that. We share that. We yeah, share that respect life. to all the no. vegetarians. That's that's another, I'd really like to have a vegetarian. I want I want someone like, I've been really super health conscious, you know, really moving towards that um, yeah, it's a, it's in a, my life. And I can tell you, man, it transforms you. It really does. So I started that that way of life in December, and I, I've, I don't think I've ever felt better than I did. Hey, man, if you had a fist bump right now, I, I, I would, it, like, seriously... Shh. It's it's not even like you know you do it as a New Year's resolution, but like for real talk, it, yeah, it it happened and it was the best thing. People are like, man, do you miss it? I'm like, no, man. I feel I'm not like trying to bucks. save the cows or it, like totally. I'm not trying to anything. I'm just trying to feel good. Totally change my life. Amen. I love it. It's, it's, Amen. it's beautiful. Wow, we're still are we still going? Because we're like Let's way go. past the airport we're, now. You, you keep talking. We <laughs> keep right, going. All right. Do, uh, we, what time do we have? We have oh we yo this turned out to be like. We're gonna do this for like we're like all right let's like rip to the airport. I'm yep. gonna pull a scoop and we're gonna be like literally running to the plane. But we got this. We got I like this. It. We're like we're going to the east side of town now, just so everybody knows. We can get there in the next like ten or is that? Oh like, yeah, easy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, all right. Airport's right there. All right, we're we good. got it. We're Actually, good. you know what we're gonna do? You, you guys like Chipotle? You guys got time for a bite or no? Yeah, you got a little bit, right? Or, Jeff. Like, no, you got, Jeff. Survey good. says I, I'm good. I'm, my memory card is just full. And I can't reach my camera bag to change anything, so <laughs> I'm good for whatever you guys want to do. And in all contexts, so like literally, we I'm just in crouching tiger position. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's in crouching tiger back here in the back seat. Jeff, say what up to Jeff Scott. Jeff Scott, what up? <laughs> so like, we just literally DJ at a conference for the past four days. Like, I think I and then I pulled an all nighter coming into Vegas, oh. and then I slept for two hours the night before that. So like, since last Friday and today I know, is I barely Thursday. Slept I have barely, when I say I've barely slept, I mean like for real, 
I've had about 10 hours in the last few days. I, I, I've had 10 hours or less since last Friday. I'm exhausted. And I also drank half of Jeff's body weight in vodka. Love because it. we haven't <laughs> been able to get loose. I ate dinner. I sorry. I ate breakfast at 11:30 p.m. last night. And man, it's just been a crazy thing. All right, let's do two more questions. Let's do two more. Me I'm, I'm going to ask you okay. if if you were not being a DJ, what would you be doing right now with your time? Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm divided on that. But I'd, I'd probably be a digital marketer. Is is. It's either the money or the passion. There, I love digital marketing, so that's what I'd want to be in. Big fan. I've, I've done uh, you know marketing seminars for everything from real estate agents to ranchers, believe it or not. So, you know, it. Yeah, that. I mean, for me, it'd be either that or some sort of finance, boring as fuck job. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. I like this crazy world we live in. Just yeah, man. I never would have thought, like for real, that I would be where I'm at today, DJing. I mean, my parents are very disappointed. I think they're they're okay with it now. Finally, it's only been what eighteen years now. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, man. So I gotta ask you, where are you going? Where, going? Where's 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 Jason gonna be in five years? Oh, where am I gonna be in five years? You know, that's a that's a path I'm still working on. You know what? I haven't decided exactly which where I want to take my path. But I tell you this, I've been now like quite a ways deep in this business. You know, I've been playing for a long time and like. I've done a lot of things I'm super proud of. The crazy thing is, regardless of how much and whatever, I feel like I'm still just getting started. I feel like there's so much more to do. There's so many people to connect with. I want to play different cities. I want to I want to play different parties. You seriously I took like, the motto out of my... That's exactly what I say. I feel like I'm just getting started. Yo, I just... I, I feel like there's so much more to give. I want to pay it forward. I want to inspire people to have these parties they've dreamed of. I want to I want to push the future coming up. I want to push them to to think of things they never could have thought of before. I want I, I don't want to suppress anything. I want to just like let it go and like, you know, I've done television, I've done radio, I've done all this random stuff and it's like, man, I don't know. This this world we live in, it's 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 There's big, so many, so. you know, you know what? We live in this really weird era where we're juxtaposed between this incredible fear and division and incredible opportunity. You know what I mean? I I, I totally agree with you. I mean, all my favorite academics, according to all the science, we actually live in a world unlike any other era by like a long shot. The amount of opportunities, the amount of things we can do and places and people we can connect with. Yeah. You know, and it, and it really is incredible. You're right. There's, It's really hard to say because five years from now, we don't even know what the technology will be. We it's, don't even know where people will be at. It's crazy. Culture is just changing and like technology is enabling so many like these these like monumental shifts of, of the way things are, right? So like kids don't watch TV, they watch YouTube. You know, like the voice apps and, and, and all this kind of crazy stuff, Alexa and Siri, that's like totally. what's coming, you know? Like totally. people live their lives on Instagram and Facebook and it, it's it's sad, but it's true and you gotta just adapt and whatever. It's and, all good. And find you know? a way to make it work into something awesome. Yeah. Yep. Well, I appreciate your time with this, man. I appreciate Dude, the ride to the like, airport. I like we're, we're chopping it up. Literally, with you, practically like, at the airport right now. So this worked out. You can see the airport sign right there. Yep. So <laughs> th that's it for anyone that tuned in. I'll be sharing this. We're gonna be sharing the video and putting it out on anyone. I will give some links. Definitely. Yeah. If you are a DJ. I highly, highly, highly recommend you check out his content. It's awesome. I just appreciate you guys. Thank you for listening to our story and us chop it up over here as we uh, as we make our way into a, a traffic area over here. Yeah, appreciate wow. you guys. Do me one solid. I know there's only a handful of you guys on here, but do me one solid. Do both of us one solid. Like. Fast hit that heart button or that like button for us real quick. Just do us something nice, like load it up. Yeah, for real. I know you guys are starting to tune in. I've just started doing these Facebook Lives, you know? And and um, if you guys want to see more, man, I know a lot of people. I got a lot of friends coming to Vegas. It's We did this. It's it's like it got cold again here, man. It's like 60 degrees. But it's nice because in Jersey, it's really, it's really fucking cold right now. Oh, it's that's true. There you so, go. So on the Facebook, on the Facebook phone, thank you all for joining in. Make sure you give us some likes and all that good stuff. I hope to connect with you guys and, and, and get to know some of you guys on here. So I appreciate you all for watching this. And just uh, on behalf of both of us. Uh, for real, guys. For checking in. Appreciate you guys for real. And then for you guys on the SCE Life vlog. Yo, you got to follow my dude right here. Be sure to check out the description field in the video. 
and uh, make sure that you not only give us a thumbs up but add a comment and we'll be checking that to see responses and all that kind of stuff and we'll also be following up with each every, everybody that takes the time to leave us a comment would like to invite you to the, the SCE event group YouTube page make sure you subscribe to our content we hope to kind of like keep up with you guys in the future okay make sure you follow each other and connect all on all the links in this uh, description field and thank you so much for taking the time to chop it up as we chop it up to kind of follow our I think stuff, this, is, so. this is just get our conversation starts all over again now. I, I think I think we're gonna I think you're gonna see a little bit more of this uh this collaboration and and this is the and, start of something. And, and you know what? Like we're just gonna get a bigger car next time. I'm just saying. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just yeah. saying. I'm just saying. I, I got to upgrade. Saying. I'm just saying. All right. Thank you guys for watching Peace, this. Guys. Thank you guys for Thank watching guys. this. We'll talk to you guys real soon. Okay. Thank you. We out.